Hi everybody. Welcome to Discuss Agile Conference. I am your host Albert currently with Rahul Shah on discuss on Google Hangouts who wants to speak about personal kaizen the retrospective and future perspective for being effective. Now let us understand from him about what does he mean by personal kaizen and how he convinces his customer uh, or how he convinces uh, us to attend his session on this hey rahul welcome to discuss agile conference Hi, before before we meet uh, uh, before we meet start on the personal kaizen can you tell something about yourself to the community sure thanks for the invite and uh, new wave for the proposals i really like it something new let me start something about me so uh, i'm rahul rahul shah i am from baroda gujarat and currently in pune since last 13 years 17 plus years of experience in various domains and 7 uh, plus years in agile and scrum wow that's i have been really nice that's really nice yeah. it's it's so so much lot of inf- uh, lot of experience you have right yeah yeah and also because uh the market demands that you should have some certifications so i have bunch of certifications as well the reason one of the reason i would say the having multiple certification is i am eager to learn new things and uh, if i am not doing on my own then certificates pushes me okay i should learn something and prepare for the exam and then read apply review how it goes so that really works out well and i would say that the personal invest- investment is the best investment so that is good yeah yes it is all investment not expense yeah very true <laughs> right that's that's really nice rahul uh, so what is this guy ka- personal kaizen is all about why did you ch- choose a topic yes. on personal agility yes very important if you look at the Uh, version one survey is the eleventh uh, report, the seventeen. They have mentioned that ninety-eight percent of world's organizations, world's in the sense in the survey they have taken up, ninety-eight percent of the organizations have started adopting agile, and sixty percent of them, half of their teams into agile. Why they are into agile? Why they are looking for the agility? Because they are finding some value in it. if organizations are finding value in it then not, why not on personal level we should also try to adopt agile and see what values it provides what benefits it provides we also can be very effective right yes that's about the personal agility really figure it out that what is agile what is the values and principles it provides organizations are already successful in adopting it right the newer versions newer frameworks are coming up why not try it out on the personal level and see what benefits it provides and i really believe uh, like we have iterative cycle right so if i try some fails fail fast nothing wrong in it so why not try it out on the agile values and principles and based on that devise something like a personal kaizen a small improvement or that i am on the path of betterment and i am on the path of being effective wow that's really nice introduction about uh, personal kaizen yes uh, we also did all our e- days education work everything iteratively we did lot of mistakes that's called as experience right true very true yeah so uh, that's really nice to find it so just wanted to understand how it relates to agile values and principles Oh, yeah that's interesting question and certainly i should answer that so agile see, change is constant first thing i would say responding to change is very much important yes the world people look for the job security but i would say through personal kaizen you develop yourself so that you are you have employment security oh you are become so effective that you are not worried about the job security you are employment secure then certainly so responding to change change is inevitable so you have to prepare yourself mm-hmm. so that 
you can face any situations and then come out of, out of it that's very important and i have focused more on this uh, retrospective um, agile principle the 12th principle at regular interval team reflects on how to become more effective and adjust its behavior accordingly the so same thing i think we should use for ourselves and it's the same thing if you plan out for 10 years plan that not going to work if you do not plan anything that's also not going to work so what i prefer is kind of a iteration look for the release plan what you want to do in three months time period then every 15 days you see where you stand if required daily but yeah, it don't doesn't directly apply you have to mm -hmm. do some modification customization but that's the main principle on this one another thing is if you look at the agile manifesto we are uncovering better ways of developing software by doing it and helping others do it yes whatever i'm going to share it's not everything from my own pocket I have read different articles, read different books, uh, met different people, and from there, what they are doing it, mm. learn from them. So, and while I am implementing, so uncovering better ways. So, by doing it, so I am getting it, and then I also should share it with the others, helping others do it. So, I would say the personal kaizen or being effective through retrospective and future perspective mm. is on the agile values and principles. So you you are saying uh, if you follow agile, your your employment will never go. The, isn't that uh, touching that exact tip of our current IT industry situation? Yeah. Very much required, right, Albert? I would certainly we see people, right, our friends, very close mm -hmm. friends also in yes. situations, and something happens in your company, and then people will say, "Oh, my number ka bhi lagega." Exactly. Uh, that shouldn't be the case, right? So we should move towards personal kaizen, personal agility, okay. and being more effective. Hey, that's that's really uh, commendable to know about it. Uh, can you share some insight about your session? What what exactly you are planning? Is there any activities, something like that? Okay, sure, sure. Yeah, so this one is more focused on the retrospective. Mm -hmm. So where I am, is is at stage stages are very much important. Okay. See. Uh, some of the other stuff like uh, when we talk about agile values and principles we have lot many to do list right but we won't be able to do everything yes prioritization yes. is required so there are different ways of prioritization because our list is never ending we should look for the ways like the product owner does prioritization we also need to do prioritization which will provide the maximum value right so i will be yes. sharing some prioritization techniques Couple of techniques on the future perspective, like magic wand and VIP tasks. Okay. And also on the self retrospective, I would like to focus more on the positive aspects. We, uh, we start with what doesn't work, what didn't work, or what went wrong, right? But the self retrospective I'm going to talk about is all on the positive side. Energy and then self retrospective is not. See, we are not going to develop software individually. When we talk about personal kaizen, you can implement it for your personal life as well as professional life, both life. I consider it very equal. But to consider that, okay, I'm planning for my daughter's uh, birthday party, or even I'm appearing for an interview, or I have a meeting with the leaders, or like I'm talking to you, right? Yes. I should be doing self retrospective on how it went, and that yeah. also on a positive note. So that's one part, the future perspective and the self retrospective and some of the techniques which I would like to cover on this one. And certainly yeah, activity is very important. So there will be activity on a personal level as well. One thing, what my plan is to actually at least the attendees will start from this session, get something when they go back home. So that you have some base ready and you need not start from scratch. At least you can see, okay. It should be very simple, right? If it is uh, creating extra pressure and extra work for you, mm. nobody is going to do that. That is true. So it should be very simple way it should be done. That's okay. what I'm looking at. So you are going to make uh, us, the individual who are going to attend the session, as a product at the end of the session. <laughs> Can I put it that way? Uh, I wouldn't say. I think I would say that those who are really willing to learn from others, mm. 
to uh, employ different techniques for self improvement and self effectiveness they should join this one even some there are some powerful questionings like uh, the different questions you can ask even one question mm. a day like use of my time right now if you keep this question wherever you work in your office or at your home and then work accordingly this question itself will have a drastic impact on the way you earn and then deliver so i wouldn't call them pros because what i believe is when i am going to share this one with the audience or the attendees i'm going to learn something from some of them as well right yeah uh, we we learn knowledge. from everybody yeah collective knowledge what the audience or attendees will have will be more than what i possess yes yes so yes. that's also is my that i want to learn as well i am still learning so that should continue okay so uh, what is what exactly is there for them the attendees who are going to uh, attend your session and who are the participants or what is what type of partip- participants you are expecting uh, for your session yes so i i read somewhere that if you keep doing the same thing you are going to get the same result if you expect different results that's called insanity right right yeah today's world everything is changing very fast so i would say that uh, like some right where i stand right now right is there a easier way i am saying the, uh, the i would say simple way because whatever i am going to share it's not a silver bullet like you attend for 45 minute session and everything will change no the onus is on individual the person who is willing to move towards a quest for improvement betterment if they see value in agile values and principles they should come to session and then see how the same principles can be applied to your personal life and become more effective as any said, uh, those who are uh, believe in agility and then agile experts certainly from scrum masters to team uh, leaders and then uh, managers anybody can attend they should have let like, okay it's not a silver bullet i will have to work on myself that's the first thing if they have that mindset is invited for this one but i'm uh, i'm sure that they are going to get something very meaningful for different perspective and the outlook they are going to get from this session and then i would say a simple way to get started that's for sure okay uh so uh you are nicely put across the personal kaizen of uh, individual members uh, and also you, you gave one tip if you follow agile in your life you don't need to worry about your employment at all yeah so yeah thanks rahul thanks for the quick uh, chat with us for the discuss agile uh, community so guys uh, you got the glimpse from rahul on personal kaizen the retrospective and future future perspective of for being effective exactly right so what do you think uh, how useful it would be by attending his session comment about it like about it share about it thank you and this is albert for discuss agile india thank you bye bye thank bye. you thanks uh, rahul thank you bye